Forsyth here. Hi! And I am going to do a little gel press play. So I want to show you what I have recently completed with this is one of those tiny mini books, whatever you want to call them. Tiny books, mini books, whatever. Well, I was inspired by Tina Walker to pull out some alcohol inks and use them on my gel press. So I thought I would just do that. And she's been doing all these tag books. So I figured, well, why not give it a shot? So I have my three by five gel press because that fits pretty good on a tag. Um, have a little left over. But then that's why I also use my gel press petites. Now this one is the square and it comes in the A set. It And in that set, you're also gonna get a circle, a triangle, but I just wanted to use the square. So just a little bit of an enabler alert. These little petites are on sale. So pop on over to the gel press site and get yourself some of those. So anyways, all I did was just played. Now, one thing I do have to say that I really like is that typically when you worked with your alcohol inks, you had to work on a non-porous surface because these work best that way. They move and they shape. So this is actually my non-porous surface. Then when I get them all down, I'm going to use a little bit of white paint faintly on the back of it to pull all that alcohol ink up, which gives me the ability to work on porous papers, such as this. This is a farm paper, um, some music paper that I actually copied, um, and of course, tags. So I have some craft tags here that I cut out um, using my tag template. And then here are some of the traditional found these at a vintage shop somewhere and I also cut a couple pieces tags from Prima's Midnight Garden book pa paper pad let's call it a paper pad I got book on the brain here okay so I'm just going to pull on everything I've known and everything I've learned about using alcohol inks I got a little blow tube so I can blow the color around um, somewhere in this mess, I had a piece of felt because I don't have any more of the felt pads that um, you typically would use um, on the blending tool. All right, so I've got a little felt pad here that I'm going to do. And then I'm working with the alcohol pearls. So I'm just going to give them a good shaking. And once I have them all shook up, I'll be back to do some playing. All right, so I got my alcohol pearls, alcohol ink all nicely shook up. And I think actually from my first one, I'm just gonna go and make some dots. And it's so cool because you can just see that pearl just doing its thing on the gel press. Put in a little bit of the yellow, which is called alchemy. And the orange is called splendor and Get in here and add a little bit, not too much of this one. This is villainous because we could get some muddy colors. And now I'm just going to kind of let them move all around on my gel press. Maybe with a little help from me. And so here we've got it. And I'm actually just going to take my petite here and I'm going to pick up some of that color that's now on here all right so i'm gonna let that percolate over there because we're not gonna waste color anywhere all right so now i think what i'm gonna do is i do have this orange over here i do see some spots that have no color so we're just gonna go in and add a little bit more color in those spots through this stencil here this is the crafters workshop so so really, I had no rhyme or reason when working with these. Um, 
alcohol inks other than to just try them out. And another beautiful thing about them is they dry so quickly. What up? And I love that. All right, so over here on my little square petite, I'm gonna also put another Crafters Workshop stencil. And we're gonna do a little bit of deception. What a name. Okay, and once again, using my felt here, just gonna go put those colors through this stencil that I got going. All right. I'm gonna even put some of this red that's still left on here, the deception. All right, so now let's get everybody all dry. Okay, so over here on the side, I've got another three by five gel press and I'm gonna use that to apply the white acrylic paint onto the plates that already have the alcohol inks on them. All right, so I actually just want a really, really light layer, just enough to pull the alcohol inks up, but not so much that I lose the paper that's in the background. So here's my craft, and I'm gonna put that one over here for a second. And I'm gonna use this piece of farm paper here. And you're like, well, I thought you were doing tags. Well, I am. These become the little added extras that I tear up and collage onto the pages. So I can show you that right here. You can see there's little pieces of leftover papers that I just collaged up and put on there. All right, here we go. Oh, see? Oh my gosh. See why this is now my new latest addiction? Okay, and here we are on the paper. Woo! So I don't really know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna take some of this yellow. I'm gonna put it down. And then I'm gonna use my brayer to kind of brayer that alcohol ink around and I don't want to waste it. Now I know a lot of it just dried up because it dries up so quickly. But then that's going to give us a nice kind of yellow foreground. Because we have to remember that the first thing that you put down is the first thing you're going to see when you make your pull. All right, so I need a little bit more of this deception here. Did I lose my little felt pad already? Yep, that would be me. I'm sure it's down on my messy floor somewhere. So I'll just cut up another one. All right, just getting a little bit in there because a little bit goes quite a long ways. All I'm doing is just putting it in the places where I want the red color. See, and as you can see, a little bit of alcohol ink goes a really long ways on the... um belt. All right, so I'm going to pull that off of there. See, look. <gasps> All right. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. So now a little there. So now I'm going to put another one of the Crafters Workshop stencils down. And we'll use a little bit of Sublime. All right. And I can see the areas where I didn't add the red. So now I kind of want to go in there with this super cool stencil. I think it's fantastical. I'm not sure of the name. It will be down in the bottom under products used. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. A little bit. And you'll notice that my gel press is now yellow. Well that's okay with me that's just what happens with alcohol inks it does not change any of the pulls it does not affect in any way what's going on on the printing levels all right so i actually want to try this i'm going to use this primo one All right, we ready to see how that came out? Oh, gosh, and look at the, look at what the copper foil does. Oh, 
How cool. And you can still see some of the flowers through. La, 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 la. Okay. I'm all right. Just getting a little excited here. And this is what happened. This is why I was at this for hours. So here's just a couple of the pulls. All right. Here it is on plain paper. Here we have it on printed paper. And here we have it on craft. Which normally, these would not have worked. The alcohols would not have worked on these substrates. But I'm going to tell you, I'm in love. All right. So that is basically... What I did using alcohol inks on my gel press um, with tags. And you too can create this beautiful little mini book yourself. So I'm off to create some more tags. Hope you've enjoyed my creative journey. Till we meet again. Bye. And stay creative.